I had this game called Skills Attack. I got this um, from one of our other PE teachers in my district, and I also happen to find a PDF file on this game. Um, I will put the information on both uh, on my blog after uh, the tutorial here is done. But it's a challenge game, and essentially um, each one of the cones represent um, each one of these triangles, I should say, represents a cone. So, um, cone here, this is a cone, all stack up in a line. These are cones stack up in a line, and these are the cones stacked up in a line. And what it is, is that each one of these cones represents a fence. I call it a fence, this is a fence, and this is a fence. And the goal is for the students here students starting in the line marked by these white stars their job is to make it through the fence through the fences without getting tagged all the way down to a bucket that i have on the other gym uh, at the end of the gym which is filled with like a yarn ball or some type of treasure any type of trinket and uh, if they make it down to this spot they pick up the one ball and then they must run all the way back around and then they put it into another bucket here um, let's put that in there here put in this other bucket so let's say we just have another bucket over here I'll get rid of these guys just to represent so this is a bucket here where when they finally get their their uh, treasure this is or their trinkets this is where they would go so on the signal the students must run all the way down through the fence without getting tagged. But here's the tricky point, is that the students, is that these students must only enter through the gates. Now, what these circles here are um, some pads that I have right here. This is a pad, pad uh, set in top of the cones to mark the gate. So this is a gate and this is a gate. There's only two. This is a gate, this is a gate, gate and another gate. So again, on the signal, this student must run. They cannot run through here. That would be a no-no. They would have to come back and try again. They must run through the gate here without getting tagged by this guy. Now, obviously, if he were to tag them, they would go back and try again. Now, they've entered this area okay, where these two guys could tag. These two people could tag. Now, they have, again, two options. They can either run through this gate. Now, it's kind of up to you on how you want to set up your gates um, or if you want to have more taggers or two taggers or one tagger. So totally up to you. Anyway, they could pick this gate, run all the way over here. Now, then obviously these taggers cannot cross here. They cannot. They have to stay in their area waiting for the next people to go. Now this runner will then have to try and run all the way down here without getting tagged by this uh, tagger here. Now, once they've made it here, they grab their trinket again and go. Now, let's say that this uh, participant here was tagged by this player. If they get tagged in any spot before they make it through the next one here, this person must go all the that's the tagger. This person must run all the way around the outside and then try again. And you keep going until all the trinkets that are in the basket are gone or down here in this bucket and then you just flip the buckets and you get new taggers. Um, I've played this with second third fourth and fifth graders and they absolutely love this game but um game's called skills attack and it's a strategy thinking game and uh more information will be on the blog